Do you want to know how to make a bootable USB so you can install Windows, Office, or whatever program or operating system you want to install on your computer? And so, stay tuned. What is going on guys? Chad here from How2Tech, to the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down how to create a bootable USB. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so today we're gonna to be creating bootable media. I'm going to try to keep this very basic, not get too in depth on things because for most people, what you wanna do is you wanna get Windows 10 on a flash drive, you wanna get Windows 7, 8, whatever version of Windows or maybe it's Linux on a flash drive so you can plug it into your computer and install it. And you wanna you know, be able to do that fairly quickly. So I'm going to try to spare you the extra language and descriptiveness of most items which I find it very hard not to just because that's the way my brain's wired is to teach people so without further ado we are going to talk about this program called Rufus so to find this you can go to rufus.ie or you can just type in Rufus on Google and it should be the first thing that pops up this is the program we're going to be using to create bootable USB drives the easy way and I have to suggest or I have to go ahead and say it is fairly easy and for the most part it detects the settings you need and you really just need to click a few buttons and you're good to go. Um, they have a regular installer which is Rufus 3.8 right now, the version number may change obviously, and it's 1.1 meg which means it's super lightweight. So this one right here will install files to your computer so you can just click on the start menu and go to the program and run it over and over and over again. So if you create lots of bootable flash drives or you plan on in the future, this might be a good program to install. If not, you can go with the portable version. That's what I tend to do. So yeah, pick whichever one you think would be useful for you. But in 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 the whole aspect of all of this, these two work the exact same as each other. So for this example, I'm just gonna be downloading the portable version. All right, so after Rufus is installed or after you just download it and run it, the portable version kind of like I have here, you will be greeted with this kind of setup here. And there is not a lot you really need to mess with. So the device, this is going to be the flash drive that we want to go ahead and put the image of, say that be Windows 10, um, the installer for Windows 10. Maybe that's an installer for Microsoft Office. Maybe this is, who knows what you're trying to put on here. This could be Linux, this could be a, specific program to image computers, which is the one that we're going to be using as an example today. But there are tons of different use cases. And if you're interested in a more broke down aspect of what all those are and what all you could use it for, then let us know in the comment section down below and we might explore that for you guys. So if you haven't seen your device show up here yet, it should auto select most USB devices. But if you have multiple USBs, go through this menu, find your USB device and make sure it's selected. Um, this is 32 megs. This is like an insanely old flash drive from way back in the early 2000s and it is small. So unfortunately, we're not actually going to be writing anything to this today, but this is just an example of how you get to that point and then click start and then it should work fine. So the next thing we want is to select our boot selection. What our boot selection is, is essentially, are we wanting it to be bootable or not? Um, and then there's free DOS or disk or ISO image for most use cases And that's what we're gonna kind of go with today You're gonna want disk or ISO image and that should be selected by default and then the next thing we want to do is select uh, Click to select or download an image. So we're going to select an image and In your case, this might be Windows 10 installer This could be Microsoft Office and in our case, it's actually clonezilla live and this is an imaging program and stuff like that that's really really awesome um, but we're going to double click that and you can see as soon as I double clicked it it actually set a bunch of stuff in here it set this stuff automatically and we don't have to change any of this for the most part Rufus is really really good about knowing what settings need to be set whether that is for a Windows install a lot of Linux installs and even this you know program right here now, if you have any problems and experience any problems with it, you can always go back in and flash this back to the flash drive that is. And what I would suggest doing is if you, you know, you're not able to make it work the first time or you have problems with flashing it to the drive uh, or writing to the drive, I would go to the website of where you're downloading this image from and just make sure that there's not specific settings that need to be set. But if you're doing Windows, Microsoft Office, Clonezilla, or even most versions of Linux, 
it just auto detects it and it runs fine. So now that we've got our flash drive selected and what we want to write to the flash drive selected, we can now go ahead and click start. But in most use cases, I like to go ahead and name the volume. And what this is, is whenever you plug a flash drive into a computer, say it's a Windows computer, and you're like, what's on this flash drive? I can't remember. You plug this in, this is what essentially the name of the flash drive is. So in this use case, what I would probably do is I would rename this volume label to say clone Zilla 264, whatever. Um, if yours was a Windows installer, you might say Windows 10 and then version whatever. And you could do that right there. Um, for your use case, this might not be relevant or you might just be like, hey, I've only got one flash drive. That's all I'm going to be using it for. Cool. You should be good. Um, so yeah, you select your device up here. You select the what you want to write to it and you can name what the flash drive is going to be after it writes to it. And then the next step is clicking start. So the unfortunate thing for this tutorial is this is a 32 megabyte flash drive and this is about a 170 meg file. So it will not write and I can show you right now. Um, if you are say trying to put Windows 10 on a two to four gig flash drive, I think for the most part now Windows 10 can really only install in like six to eight megs or, or six to eight gigs of flash drive storage. Um, you might run into the same error that you're about to see, which is the image is too big for the selected target. If that's the case, then you might actually have to use a bigger flash drive. But if your flash drive is big enough and you know, you've got this set correctly and it should just go ahead and go through the steps and it should write that to the flash drive. Then all you have to do is plug it into your computer, start up the computer and make sure to boot to that flash drive. And then you can install, say an upgraded version of Windows 10, Linux, or whatever other program you want to run from your flash drive. So all right guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and get subscribed. If this helped you, then let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out our community discord down there too. And if you want to support this channel financially, check out our Patreon account listed down there below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been Chad from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.